Team's making a lot of progress in uh, a lot of different areas. It's been good competition between offense and defense, which you love to see this time of year. Kendrick Bourne's a guy who looks really confident right now. Uh, you're pretty talkative with all the receivers, but it feels like you've connected with him a few times. Uh, what have you seen from him and the time you've gotten here uh, and into his growth to now? Yeah, uh, growth is a great word for it. I mean, last year when I met KB, he was, uh, he was a rookie, you know, just coming along, but this offseason made some great strides. I think our whole receiver core is a, as a group has really you know, come a long way. Uh, they're moving in the right direction, working hard, putting in the extra time, and I think that's going to make a difference. As far as the, uh, the long ball, where are you in, in chemistry with your guys, and is that usually the, the, the last thing that sort of comes together with uh, I think receiving core? There's not a certain order of what comes together faster than whatever. I think it, it, it's all coming together slowly, but uh, you know, I think we're doing a good job of you know, getting on the same page as one another. We obviously have some extra time now. It's not just get ready for Sunday and learn this in, uh, in a week. It's, uh, we could break things down. We have film sessions when we get to just talk to each other without the coaches, which is always good. And uh, I think it's really coming together well. Is, it, is that something that you do during the, the Saturday sessions? I mean, working on just figuring out who each of these guys is and. Yeah, it's uh, you know that's some of my favorite time is because you get to see you know when coaches are out here, guys you know might act a little differently or whatever it may be, and when you get them uh, just the players, you really see a different side of guys, and it allows you to connect with them in a different way and just be talking to each other, get on the same page. I think uh, you know we have a very open group and very uh, willing group. Kyle talked about, about you <coughs> having a full off season to understand the whys of all the calls, not just learn, memorize information and plays and things like that. Can you elaborate on on why that helps you and, and how that translates out on the practice field? Uh, you know, as the quarterback, you want to be able to answer any question that's asked to you. Uh, you want to be able to, you know, if you get put in a tough spot on the field, be able to get the team into the right play. And last year was kind of uh, not that I was handcuffed, but I just didn't know some of the reasons of why we were doing things. It was just kind of you know get this by Sunday and. We'll tell you everything else in the offseason type of thing. So I think, uh, you know, learning the whys has definitely helped me. I still, you know, I have a long way to go. We've only uh, gotten through OTA. We're not even through OTAs yet. So it's, uh, it's a work in progress, but it's coming along. Can you talk about Wesner with Rich Berg and how your chemistry with him is coming along? It's been good. Uh, Wes is a great guy, you know, very, very hardworking. We get along great. Uh, you know, we, we joke about when we took the first snap together, it seemed like we were doing it for years. So it's, uh, it's great working with a guy like that. He, uh, you know, he helps me a lot. You've had a chance to add to the Spina Bay area without being in the, in the scope of the season. What's it been like? What's the reception like when you've gone public? Has it been hard? Uh, what's it been like for you? Uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. Uh, people are really looking forward to the season. It's uh, a lot of excitement in the air. Uh, really getting to know certain areas of the Bay a lot better, which is it's cool. You know, I never got to do that last year. It was always, uh, I was pretty much here 24 hours a day. So it's, uh, it's nice to get out and experience some of it. Joe Staley said that it's crazy going out in public with you because there's there's cameras everywhere. Has, has that has that been made it difficult? Have you have you had trouble going out in public? Uh, yeah, it, it is what it is type of thing. Uh, it's I don't, I don't really know. Joe, I think Joe attracts more of the cameras than I do personally, but he'll tell you different. So <laughs> Bobby Bobby Turner just said Jarek is a guy who really likes to play without the football as a quarterback. I know it's just practice and narrow pads, but can you feel that and, and how much can that help you? Yeah, Jarek. Uh, He's a talent, man. He, he, uh, you know, he does some things that you just you don't even know how to how he does them. It's the best way to describe it. He's like a jitterbug back there, but he's he's savvy and smart at the same time, which is a great feeling as a quarterback having a guy like that. Was it easier for you to kind of uh, take on the leadership role from like being here from the start rather than coming mid-season? Like, is there a difference that you've noticed now that you can take more ownership? Yeah, uh, I think just that, you know, being comfortable in uh, my environment and knowing everybody now. Last year, was uh, I didn't know everyone's name, so that's tough to begin with. And then I'm trying to learn everything week by week. It was, I mean, it was a whirlwind last year, but now things have slowed down. Uh, you know, feel more comfortable in, in the environment and getting more and more used to everything. And it's, uh, you know, it's a great situation. I mean, I, I love being here. I think we've had uh, good OTAs and we're working, working hard right now. Outside, start putting the 49ers as a playoff contender, uh, that a hot team on the rise because of your 5 0 finish. What, what do you think about that? Uh, I think we got to have a strong finish to these OTAs first. Uh, you know, people always like to talk about the predictions with the season. Uh, even when the season just ends, they start talking about it. So it's all, it's all noise on the outside, but I think we have a good group that's locked in right now and we're focused on OTAs. We'll uh, go into training camp, hopefully, have a good training camp and take it day by day. Will you do any phone sessions between? After mini camp, between that and training camp, are you guys still together? Yeah, we're trying to set something up. Uh, we don't really have it all worked out yet, but we're trying to. You guys ran like a fourth down play on that move the ball period. 
Mm -hmm. First down to uh, Pierre. What's it been like with him? Is he a nice you know, veteran safety blanket for you? Does he know exactly what you're going to get from him? Yeah, that, that's a good way to put it. You know exactly what you're going to get. P is uh, as reliable as they come. You know, he just, uh, he has that veteran mentality of, you know, he, he knows exactly what to do. He's going to help you out and do whatever he can to put you in a good situation as a quarterback. It's really loud. <laughs> Here, but have you gotten a sense of what Dwight uh, meant to this franchise in this region? Yeah, I'm, I mean, we talked about it today, uh, seeing all the 87 shirts around here. We had a couple people talk about it in the team meeting. Uh, you know, he seemed like a great guy. I never got to meet him, unfortunately, but just seemed like a great guy. Loved to have fun. Uh, you know, I heard he had the best hair in the Bay Area, so it's, uh, <laughs> you know, he'll be missed. You've worked a lot with Matt Breida during OTAs. Can you talk about what you've seen from him? Yeah. Uh, very talented young player uh, and, and smart too. You know, having halfbacks like him, Jarek, uh, Raheem, all those guys, they, they really help make my job a lot easier being as smart as they are, you know, doing the right things, putting themselves in good situations. And it just makes my job so much easier when, when they're doing that stuff. You had that deep throw to him today. Mm -hmm. Is that something that he would normally do? Yeah, I think all those guys, uh, I mean, any, any skill guy in our offense really, it's, it sounds crazy, but they're all a threat deep. We got some fast guys out there and it, uh, it's fun to have those guys thrown to be able to throw to. I mean, that is a, a constant trait of this offense is just speed. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, given your time in New England and in college, have you ever been around an offense that has just this much just raw straight line speed? Uh, definitely not in college, not at one double A. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good group and it's a fun group too. You know, they're, they're willing to work hard, put in the time, but uh, you know, when it comes down to it, when we come out on the field, they're, they're grinding and I love that, you know, it's just, uh, it makes my job so much easier. You seem to have developed a really good rapport with, with Kendrick Bourne. What, what makes him a, a guy you're, you're so willing to target so frequently? Uh, you know, I think KB does a good job of, you know, he, he brings a lot of different traits to the table that it's hard for a defender to cover, cover him. He's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, deceptively, deceptively fast, but at the same time, he has some wiggle to him. So it's, uh, it's a nice combination. and. He does a great job of catching the ball. I mean, I don't know how many drops he's had all of OTAs. I don't want to jinx him, but he's done a great job for me. A couple more for Jimmy. Your center today, Weston, got into a little shoving match there with Solomon. Was that something? Was he protecting you or? or? I, I didn't really see it, to be honest. Uh, I kind of threw it and looked out of the corner of my eye and saw it all going on. But, you know, uh, that's football. You know, stuff's going to happen out here like that. Honestly, I love to see that out of the old lineman. It, it gets me fired up. I can't do it, so <laughs> it's probably a better thing that I don't. <laughs>